buying where more is better. A key assumption in our analysis of uh, consumer behavior is that more is preferred to less. Consumers are not satiated. We now show that if both goods are consumed in positive quantities and their prices are positive, more of either good must be preferred to less. Suppose that the opposite were true and that Lisa prefers fewer burritos to more. Because burritos cost her money, she could increase her well-being by reducing the quantity of burritos she consumes until she consumes no burritos. A scenario that violates our assumption that she consumes positive quantities of both goods. Superscript 11, it reads, Similarly, at her optimal bundle, Lisa cannot be satiated. Indifferent, indifferent between consuming more or fewer burritos, suppose that her budget is obtained by working and that Lisa does not like working at the margin, where uh, were it not for the goods she can buy with uh, what she earns, she would not work as many hours as she does. Thus, if she were satiated and did not care if she consumed fewer burritos, she would reduce the number of hours she worked, thereby lowering her income until her optimal bundle occurred at a point where more was preferred to less or where she consumed none. Returning to the text, although it is possible that consumers prefer less to more at some large quantities, we do not observe consumers making purchases where that occurs. In summary, we do not observe consumers optimizing their well-being at bundles where indifference curves are concave or that consumers are satiated. Thus, we can safely assume that indifference curves are convex and that consumers prefer more to less in the ranges of goods that we actually observe.